Here's what you need to know this morning. Teen taken hostage a man was tasered and arrested by police in a dramatic end to a siege in Orange in the state's central west, where an 18-year-old man was allegedly held hostage by a stranger inside his own home. New South Wales police said a 27-year-old man approached a property around 7 p.m. yesterday and threatened the two men inside, who were not known to him, with a knife. A 59-year-old man managed to flee the unit but the teenager could not escape, and police were called soon after and began negotiations. Just after 11 p.m., a fire was allegedly deliberately lit by the hostage taker and he was arrested after walking outside and threatening police with a hammer. Child sex arrest her 46-year-old man has been charged for allegedly approaching several children near a park in Sydney's inner west for sex before spitting and kicking officers who tried to arrest him. Yesterday around 3 p.m., the man approached the children in Marrickville and allegedly made threats after he tried to procure them for sexual activity. He was later arrested and charged with unlawful sexual activity, stalking and intimidation, and assault-related charges. Investigation into working with children The New South Wales Education Minister has launched an investigation after it was revealed a convicted child sex offender was found working at a Catholic school in Wagga Wagga. The Man was last month found working at Sacred Heart School, he'd been employed to do maintenance work outside of school hours. Minister Sarah Mitchell said she was seeking urgent information about how Catholic schools managed their working with children checks. First glimpse of new stadium Parramatta fans turned out in force at the Eels' first training session at the new Western Sydney Stadium last night. The Eels have claimed the ground as its new home and will take on West's Tigers at the venue, which was officially opened by Premier Gladys Berejiklian on Saturday, in the first major match at the stadium on Monday. The open training session at the $360 million ground was well attended, with the club estimating thousands of fans made the journey to check out the sparkling new stadium. Health Watchdog Ignored complaints Frustrated patients are calling on the state government to crack down on the Healthcare Complaints Commission's HCCC, amid allegations the watchdog ignored complaints about substandard hospital care. The ABC was contacted by several patients, including Monica Jones, who said nurses in a private hospital didn't provide her prescription medication following a hysterectomy. Mrs. Jones said staff told her she should have found the medication in a bedside drawer and dosed herself and was horrified when the HCCC declined to intervene in her case. Read the full story. Here, youth employment gloomy young people have become increasingly worried about transitioning from high school to study or work, research released today revealed. Organizations, including Youth Support Service Reach Out, surveyed more than 1,000 people aged between 16 and 24 about finishing school. It found 45% of respondents were not confident about their job prospects and wanted more support with paid internships, training and job applications. Wednesday's weather partly cloudy, patchy morning fog, mainly in the west, min, max, CBD 1625 Parramatta 1325 Let's Block Ads.